How do you feel about Remy? That there was not no blood clot interview. You can prove to us that it's an industry plant. When I have the physical. Do you wear your, your pants? That's a spring cloth in water. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Me is a straight man. I mean, I like no bend up man, no lean boy. I send this to the world. Oh, hell no. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So, pretty Dan take on Jeffrey people, and pretty Dan a deal with Jeffrey in the worst way. Pretty Dan say the interview with Shensia and Jeffrey wasn't really an interview. You know, Jeffrey was more like obsessed over Shensia instead of doing an interview. Him actually do less time with her than anybody else. Him actually do 30 minutes on him podcast now the last for an hour. So, you know, Pretty Dan expose him and I say, yo, Jeffrey seems like him didn't want to eat Shensia Kitty. A bag of things she had talked about people. You want to stick around for that. Also in this update we have Bounty Killer done a recent interview on the Fix podcast where he exposed the real reason why America took his visa and uh, never want to give him back. He basically I say it's because of the alphabet people them. He burned out the alphabet people them and he was an associate of Dodos. So I'm gonna play a short clip you know relating to that but before we get into all these updates please remember to leave a like on this video very important also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section. If you notice that somebody you know, come from my post and say Lula le, me no post Lula le but if you say Lula le we are God eh <laughs> your views are not getting a national award yet is it something that you really want like people say oh you should have get it for oh, this person get, and and glass and come on. <laughs> me witness politician bring guns at kalalu bed when my boss everybody think me a labor right you know two daughters like me because yeah. him see me as a rebel mm. we stand for the people that's one thing why america took my visa too and they don't want to admit it it's all about <laughs> lgbt and daughters that's why they took my visa i done nothing me is a straight man i mean i like no bend up man no lean boy i send this to the world lgbt don't like me and me don't like them what the problem it's hypocrisy and democracy me not have no right want to my pride want to my dignity Want to my sovereignty. Me like what me like. I me no like what me no like. I wanna like a fight. Everywhere them go and try to tie you up and choke you down for visa. No boy can't please me like visa. I could have never leave ya. Bumbuckler. <laughs> So that was a recent interview done on the Fix podcast with Bounty Killer. Basically, he was asked, you know, what the reason why they took his American visa and he never get it back. So everybody knows that Bounty Killer don't have an American visa for a while. Just the other day, he went and got his UK visa and he traveled to, you know, England and stuff like that, people. So he's stating that the reason why um them take away his american visa is because of association with you know dodo so you know that the man there is a big you know whatever leader we never have to go into that and also he must say him speak out against the the alphabet people him so that are one of the main reason he was asked about you know why haven't he got an order of distinction as yet our national award and him basically i say yo a politics not that reason why him don't get it so Viewers and subscribers, you want to go over the Fix podcast to check out the full interview. But you, the viewers, can tell me what you think about this and all that Bounty Killer has said about the whole thing. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. So now, viewers, have pretty done basically exposed Jeffrey in the worst way, you know. After he did an interview with international superstar Shensia, basically, pretty than I said, the interview could have stayed, you know, Jeffrey didn't ask any relevant question. And he was seen more like obsessed over Shensia than asking the question. Yo, she a beat him bad and asked a bag of things. Yo, she a said Jeffrey seems like he want to eat the kitty more than anything else. People, you want to stick around for all of that. So, 
I'm basically gonna play the, the, the live with Pretty Dan speaking and you the viewers can tell me what you think about this leave it in the comment section Jeffrey! You know who flap? Oh, Trent's here Trent's here? Big time Sometimes people say things and people might take it What you say? I don't even remember because you know some people say so much things Oh, but you? Yeah You know Here's an industry plant like what me say. First of all, the other day, you sit down and you see a bumbo cloth life, Jeffrey. The see him look toxic talk. Talk your mind Monday or whatever the blood cloth you have over your platform, the me general. From what, what do you see you? When time people come from there, you go on. Your chest up in the here. But when time you see blood cloth, Chensia. When you say flap out, carrier drop out, you look like you want chop or draws them, man. You look like you didn't want to take off. She didn't see a draws, stuff in your mouth and go so. And there's a juicy dog in there, too. Do all you did, when you say she didn't see a, it look like you want to turn around moms and lick out the whole of moms, body wall, my friend. It's like you didn't want to use mom's pussy as your personal rug. Like you didn't want to take Shensia pussy and wipe your face with it. Like when you see Shensia, you say, Jesus Christ, I would have near more shit. I saw you make it look in my book. Well, see ya? No, you can't realize why you're divorced twice. You're frightened for bitches. And that's a your thing. You never deal with a blood clad pretty girl yet, me G. When you see girl in a real life, it look like say you as a nerd. You just get nerd out, me general. You get freak out. Me say to all, you sit down in a little studio there. It's like you didn't want to say, say come poop in on my face, no please. Please, my biggest Shensi, poop in up. That's all right. Even a poop, that's toast. Hey boy, to all you go on. It's like you didn't want mama poop. And you use your mouth and catch it up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you did what it's like you that said, Shensia, please me, I beg you. He even just pissing on my mouth one time. <laughs> when Shensia said, I thought you said I was flop. No, 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 no. No, I didn't say that. I said it in the context of um because you have such great numbers in Jamaica. I thought it was going to I expected it to transport transfer over into the American scene because I look at you so hard. Move your pussy wall and go from you see a dick riding bumbo wall. Go ahead, you so good. I don't want look of blood clot talk there you make. But me know say you're so good. You can't stand for business, little boy. You little lax them in your head. Trim yourself, boy. You no militant. You don't make you can't stand for business, pussy wall. Anything where you say behind somebody back and you can't say it in front of them, that means you are a bluff. He's a idiot. He's a waste man. You understand me? Two you see girl that they want to lick out the wall and pussy. You don't know how to act. You couldn't even conduct a proper blood clot interview. You were so stupid. You look so dumb. You look, you asking the most ridiculous questions. Oh, you didn't look so nice at the mid caller. How did you feel? I bet the two of them got blood clot. Never knows because sit down and have ice cream. And have that the conversation there. It's like so they're up on a date night. Like the two of them that try to know about on herself. So tell me about yourself. How was the mid caller? Oh yeah, I saw so much people that I didn't know. I saw a Dej cat and they were all performing so loud. I can't believe it. It was an experience. Oh no, should I didn't go over no look at day at night? Oh no, should I didn't go over no look at movies and drinks? Because at that one I very much was given. You just did it. Yeah, so <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't say Excuse me, I'm sorry. I didn't say it. But yeah. So Oh, yeah, your career is going so nice, right? But of course, um, so what you saying about your management and so, how do you feel about Remy? That there was not no blood clot interview. You can prove to us that it's an industry plant. You can prove to us that you get program every blood clot there. <coughs> Excuse me. You can prove to we as a colony. Remember me come, come tell them say our industry plant, you know. Like say, when time you see 23 minutes to about 30 minutes. Normally here a little talk them all. One hour, 
two hour. You couldn't even sit down and talk to her for so long. The way you your hood in your pants. There's a sprinkle out the water. Be a little wet dream. You are right this in front of me. You cock your brave sporadic. And I go on reckless in front of me. Because you don't even know what questions to ask the woman. What was the purpose of that interview? There was nothing said. Nothing at all. You don't do nothing at all more than just sit down there and give. <laughs> yes. I, I didn't say it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying because I love it. Move your pussy wall, dick riding, blood clatter. Jeff Rez, you want body boy. Me, I tell you that straight. You want look a fish, that's why a girl no war you, you know, bro. You see, you talk like girl and go like girl. You can't make one butch girl better than you, you know, bro. Yo, move man, pretty, you know. That's why me there with pretty woman, so no pretty girl I wrote you. Blood clatter make me Gigi. Look for you. You look like a waste man, my general. You can't even conduct your look of blood clot interview. To you, oh, you look a bumbo clot motor run water. Uh, uh, Lily. Oh, I'm sorry, Fenty. You just look so scrum delivish. I'm so sorry. You mouth on Downs River, my general. Do we owe you want spit in a chance a hole to... I saw you want pit in there. Like see you that. Like you right now. See you are right to run it. Ranish, I have to write you this letter because I am an intelligent young man. You see shits here? I would like to dip my tongue inside of her cooking jar. And then I would like to push my penis inside of her gently. I would want you to authorize me to fuck shits. You come in like one look waste, man. As you sit down right there, it's like you sit down and write one look of diary in your head. Like, yeah, man. It's so one time the camera you turn off. I'm going to shove up my tongue straight in your blood clot hole. You see when I lock off them camera. Yeah. To warm me wipe my tongue underneath you like a tapalin, you wouldn't even know. Right now, me just want to spread out the bleach towel and just make you lie down upon it, girl. Me just want to make you just come sit down upon my little penis when I have because it not hurt you. Me just want you to come and make me spit in your hole and make you feel good. Me like to eat you from back with you because you look nice from back. My boy! There's a pussy clot industry plant you make them carry care of them so can put your shensi up on the show just because they want you if it's uh, I mean it's say you flop no remember say you remish them my friend remember say you mock them and the whole of them my friend so nobody can go on like say you saying that I never feel bring up this you right you know and if you friend them all this blood clot while I didn't say you flop I didn't say that, that, that move your bumbo clot and go from here so you're not credible than a blood clot all be a fuck yourself. people have to tell you if you say boy and that they interview them me don't know what kind of interview that kind of asked the question all kind of blood class sitting here asked but no questions was asked all of them they sitting there where you ask could have tan who no could have did this go get a little picnic basket and get a little blood clad towel and go spread it out on the beach and have a picnic dick because who no do this and try to get to know each other because nobody in a dance hall all no winners in an interview go on all we see is a little boy a jewel over one pussy when one yeah Jeffrey's put up one video with bless bless pan in podcast and put the song over it no? twin nobody love you nobody and that song that get tired into me no me know I hear it another time but with timeline you know twin nobody love you the bomb buckler you have to say you're living a delusion brother you can't be a machine see a pussy Jeffrey your mouth not rich enough you name that the pussy there. You want to name if you are pussy in a Lamborghini. Which part of you can go in a Lamborghini go suck chancy a pussy? Hey boy, you don't know what say if you name or chancy or batty wall. You don't see my turn Yankee and all me general. Hey, we are trying to tell you, say, oh, there's a thing now. True, she used to date Prince Pine. Prince Pine a big comedian for you. You, 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 you never live on any level. Yes, Prince Pine used to touch chancy, I know. Yes, why? Shensia with the Shensia wool. <laughs> you say Shensia wool and money comedian board. And that's why you go put her locks, dirty Jeffrey. Eh, eh, 
Tell me. And that's how you go put on the locks them. True, you think you could have fucked bless, bless. Go trim. Go trim. You're in our work. In our work.